Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, um, this is not my jump start journal. These are clean pages. And um, I was working in my other journal, my jump start journal, and I started doing the block technique that Diane Reevely always does. And I happen to have all of these colors left over. And, um, so I thought that I would go ahead and make, uh, just take the, my daubers around that I had and just block it in around the edges. And that's how I got this idea. And then I, you know, you don't want to do it in a uniform fashion. You want it to kind of be a little bit off here and a little bit longer here or something to that effect it'll give it a little more um something something to it um but anyway uh then i decided that after i did that then i went around you know outlined the uh blocks and then as you can see i um you know colored it in and then I went around the edge. I thought it needed a little something more. And, um, and then I was putting my, um, pictures on and I thought that it could use some wording. But I thought, well, instead of putting all of my pictures down first that, um, you know, instead of having to cover my pictures up, when the letters went over it, I thought, well, let me put the letters down first. So it's kind of a, a reverse effect. I thought it would save me a bunch of headache. And, uh, by the way, this here is a uh, Jelly Roll number 10. And I just thought I would go around and give all of these a little pop of color. And I was in here do, uh, putting the white on and I says, well, I guess it's a good time as any to start the video. And, um, you know, once again, these are the Diane Reevely letters. And, uh, you know, I've used them multiple times. But like I said, the downfall is they're all the same height. I mean, you can't adjust them. So, uh... But anyway, let's get started, if I can remember how this all goes back. But I thought I wanted to put this up here first. Let's see. As usual, I never have my glue bottle ready. And I never shut my glue bottle. I don't know why. I just don't. Because I feel like it's always ready. I knew I wanted that to be down a little bit. But I didn't want to completely cover my stripes. So we'll leave that there momentarily. While I try to think how this all goes back. Stick this under here, and I may put the clippy right back. And plus, I wanted to wait till uh, 
the letters dried really good because I didn't want to start gluing things and the letters start smearing because they're always bad for that. I believe this came out of a, a circular that I got in the mail. Okay. And then I had this little cupboard here that I wanted to stick down, but I had to do it in several different pieces uh, because I wanted to see if I could make it where the doors would open. So I put my little rivets in here so my little doors would open. And then I put a little scenery back behind it, which I guess being a cupboard, I could have put shelves back there. But anyway, I had to... Cut the cupboard out, then do my Zacto knife, then put these in, then find the the two pictures, and then try to glue them on where they wouldn't be showing or sticking to the doors. So that was kind of a mess. And um and then once I had the doors all um all wet with glue they started wanting to curl up so then that was becoming a mess Maybe when I get through with the whole shebang, I might need to put uh, some weight on here. Because I suppose the the back of it's going to keep wanting to, to curl up. Let's see. I think I had my little table over here. Kind of bumpy right there, so I didn't want to. Don't think there's enough glue on there. Might have to put a clippy on that as well. cut that again but anyway let's put a couple clippies up there I can see I didn't cut it too too good up there and again I'm working with my little uh Dilutions little stamps, not the collage sheet, but the uh, the stamps. And actually, uh, they were ones that uh, came out of my book, my coloring book that I had made. I think. Let's see. 
my memory's not the greatest in the world either. So I'm trying to think. And after I had actually did the stamp of these letters, I actually went back around them with my number 10 uh, micron pen. This is number 8, but I used a number 10 to go around my letters. I wanted them to have a little more punch to them. These were just a bunch of plates that I got out of the magazine. You know, good circles. And I have my little characters here. I was using my, uh, you know, my acrylic paints that are that are in the tubes. Here's where I gotta really be careful. I can't get too much glue on my letters over there; they'll start running again. I think I want her up a little. She was coming off the page down there. I was using um, light olive green and lime green. And then for around the edges, I was using the turquoise blue. And... Um, I think this up here, the yellow, was pure sunshine, shimmer paint. So, of course, you can use your own paint. You don't have to use... Um, the dilutions. The others work just as well. I kind of like uh, not coloring in the figures. They seem to pop a little better, and I notice other people's um, things on Pinterest. When they do theirs, they do seem to pop a little better. Let's see if I can't bring you down a little bit more. And um, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, if you could, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. That always helps. And um, as always, see you tomorrow.